Okay, the main features of this, uh, this car, the E21, are really determined, as always, by the regulations. And from last year to this year, we've got an unusually stable set of regulations. So perhaps not surprisingly, the basic configuration of the car is also stable. Um, so the main challenges for this car and, therefore, and the main features that it has are how to get more downforce out of the same set of regulations, how to get more mechanical grip out of those same set of regulations, how to make everything neater, smaller, stiffer, better. So really just pushing all the type of development that happened last year, but trying to take it to a, a, a level that would not have been obtainable with the chassis that was committed uh, at the start of the 2012 season. I think the team here at Enstone uh, can be quite proud of its record uh, for bringing innovative ideas uh, and getting them onto the, onto the car and onto the grid. Um, I think that any team that has ambitions to, to compete right at the front of the grid needs to have some of that in it. Um, we've got a few ideas for this car that are innovative. Um, we will continue, for example, to, um, to develop and, uh, and I hope perfect the DDRS device that we, that we started to play with last year and make that, make that device really work for us in 2013. But there are other things on this car and there will be many more on the year to follow and uh, every year after that. Um, any team that wants to do well has got to be innovating. The main, the main design challenges for the 2013 car, uh, curiously they're not so much design challenges as resource challenges. Uh, we had a competitive year last year in 2012, so we needed to make sure that we were putting an amount of effort into 2012 that was appropriate for the level of competitiveness that the car had. Um, but as well as that, we had to have a, uh, a strong eye on what's coming in 2014, which is a complete revolution in the rules and to ignore those huge changes that are, that are going to sweep across the sport um, would have meant that we, will, you know, we just would not be competitive in 2014. So the 2013 car needed to be developed whilst being squeezed on both sides by 12 and 14. That's quite a significant logistical challenge to, to make the right decisions on how much effort you put uh, in both camps. However, if you want to talk just about the design challenge, um, the design challenge for 13, with a stable set of regulations, is pushing forward the type of concepts that have been features of, uh, of, of the 12 seasons. So trying to make sure that we've taken a stage further, anything that was possible to do with exhaust blowing, trying to make sure that we have made the rear end of the car even more tightly wasted in uh, than the previous season. That's a very clear design direction from, from previous years. And, uh, and any number of, uh, of, of smaller challenges as well. The team here at Enstone, Lotus F1 team, um, is a team which has got very serious ambitions to pull itself from the very respectable position that we, we achieved last year to being able to be world champions. We're not going to be world champions unless we're investing uh, at every level across the team. So there's been um, a program of infrastructure investments here at Enstone that started a couple of years ago um, and, and have continued all the way through last season and will continue to be made uh, during, during this year to make sure that we can hold our head up alongside any team on the grid to have the equipment necessary to compete at the front. So, investments we've made in the past in the wind tunnel have served us very well in 12 um, and will serve us again in 13 but there's another raft of things coming necessary for 2014 for example in 2014 the gearboxes have a completely different operating environment compared with everything we've had for the last seven or eight years different revs different torque we need different tools here at the factory to be able to make sure that those boxes have the correct performance and also the correct reliability. So multi-million pound investments here at Enstone to make sure that that infrastructure is in place in time so that we can be competitive right from the off with the 2014 car. There's an absolute tsunami of regulatory change in 2014 
Um, people probably who people who watch this sport for a few years will remember 2009. Will remember the the shaking up of the grid that that uh, regulatory change brought about. Well, what happened in 2009 is a mere ripple compared with with what's going to come in 2014. The cars need to be reinvented from scratch. And uh, while that's massively exciting for us uh, as engineers, and I think it's a very exciting future for the sport as well, it is also a real daunting challenge. Um, and it's a challenge that needs to be faced and overcome whilst we're racing the 2013 car. So the, the, the particular uh, difficulties of this season are going to be making sure we are competitive all the way through what will be a very hard for tooth and nail season which will expect all the sort of race by race upgrades that we have come to expect from the sport in the last few seasons that pressure won't go away and yet looming over us all the time will be the engineering necessary to put 2014 in good shape um, so everyone here who has been uh, had their shoulders the wheel for a month after month getting this car ready the 2013 car ready um, have got they know ahead of them a very grueling season but it will be exciting because the challenges are are really interesting ones to solve And now if we take your jacket up and now turn towards that light. And towards that light. Or we didn't do arms behind the back. Turn to your left. Turn to your left, please. That's your right. And turn to your right. Last two. 